Okie doke. So for the next few minutes, we're just going to talk about Joe Hart. And it's just come out that uh, England's Joe Hart says omission from squad is hard to take. Um, I can understand him being gutted, but being hard to take, um, I think he feels a bit hard done by. There's been a few rumours as well that he blames Moyes for this. Uh, bl- blames Moyes for his omission from the Ingl- England squad because he didn't play for the last three Premier League games of a season. Uh, even if he had, I think that's that's just a very poor excuse. Uh, Joe Hart only has one person to blame, and that's himself. He's for at least a couple of seasons now. He's been very, very poor. And I was a big fan of Joe Hart, especially when Manchester City first won the Premier League title in 2012. He was magnificent then. Uh, maybe he was a bit um, protected by the likes of Vincent Company, but I thought he was a very good keeper, very good reflexes. Um, but especially after that first title win and first started to see a few cracks in the 2012-13 season when he made a few mistakes. And each season since, it's just progressively got... Um, he's made more more and more clangers. Now, I thought when Pep Guardiola first came in and he dropped Joe Hart straight away, I thought, you know, that's a bit unfair. But in retrospect, it was absolutely the right decision. You look at him, uh, last season he was on loan at Torino. He conceded a lot of goals there. But this season at West Ham is totally... I mean, it's just totally destroyed his career. He's he's only thirty one years old. He's been to England's last three major tournaments as the number one goalkeeper. Uh, your look at Euro two thousand and twelve, for example. He made something like I think he was expected uh, from shots faced. It was something like eight shots faced. He was expected to. He, he saved. Um, he saved one. He let seven past him out of eight expected save shots. If that makes any sense at all but he's he's just become a liability and I, I can't see I, you talk about experience and experience of a dressing room his experience in major tournaments is loss it's negative negative experience look at Euro 2012 went out to Italy in the quarter finals uh, and Andrea Pirlo totally bossed the game there uh, last World Cup, where we finished with one point in a group consisting of Costa Rica, Uruguay and Italy. And you look at the last Euros, where we only just got past Wales and we didn't even get out for group stage. Well, no, we did get out for group stage, but we got knocked out by Iceland. So, you know, he's he's got a terrible record in, in for major tournaments. But you look at the three goalkeepers who Southgate has chosen, Jordan Pickford, Jack Butland and Nick Pope. You can't make a case for him being ahead of any of those three. Now, for the first two choices, uh, Butland and Pickford, fair enough. But I've seen a few people saying that he should have gone instead of Nick Pope. No, Nick Pope needs his experience. He's a young goalkeeper. He could be number one going into the next tournament. Who knows? He's had a fantastic season with Burnley. And Joe Hart shouldn't even be fourth choice. You've got the likes of Alex McCarthy at, at Southampton, who's who's done okay. Uh, Tom Heaton, who's uh, been be out injured uh, this season, has been unlucky as well. So I, I don't see how Joe Hart can feel hard done by at all he's brought it on himself and he may even find he has to go down a level into the championship next season to try and resurrect um his his career because in terms of goalkeepers he's still pretty young at 31 years old so i mean look at buffon who's retiring this season he's over 40 So, um, yeah, it's been a big fall from grace for Joe Hart, but he just needs to take it on the chin, try and improve his game because uh, and get back to the standards he was at five years ago because he was a world-class keeper back then. Some people will disagree with me, but I think he was a world-class keeper and I've never quite seen a fall from grace um, for a goalkeeper as I have with Joe Hart. And I, I, I do generally 
feel very sorry for him, but he, he really needs to, to up his game. And, you know, he could still have an England future, but he needs to improve a heck of a lot. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Do you feel that Joe Hart should be going to a World Cup? Do you think he has any right to feel hard done by? Let me know below.